Welcome. This is the energy vibration reading for two drives of the 19. And I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for your wonderful likes, shares, and support. Um, it's going to be wonderful. Um, it is going to be a year of changing, ladies and gentlemen. It's one of this year that you are not waiting for, but it has to come. It's going to be a year of a lot of. Uh, um, a shortage of water um, floods fires the earth is just shifting and changing um, there's going to be new technologies coming out which is very good that is going to be helping kids um, there is going to be the time of uh, seeing spirit lights it's going to be the time of the opening of uh, our consciousness um, we're going to be elevating so uh, most of us is going to start feeling our own energy vibration which um, we're seeing things we're understanding that we're not the only one on the planet um, there is just so much things that is going to be happening this year ladies and gentlemen it's a year of you understanding who you are it's a year that so many changes are going to be happening on this planet that is just unbelievable um get ready because it's going to be a year of huge changes first three months of the year a lot of secrets a lot of things that was kept from people are going to be coming out um the money system is going to be falling um there is just so much um that is coming up at least there is no war but they could be in a conflict with yourself um, there's going to be um, a disease uh, that comes out, but um, I have to go in more in depth in another video that I'm going to do because they're they don't want me to do it in this video. Okay, so um, we are going to be looking at the energies of the year. This is a general reading. Um, we're going to be seeing the people who are going to be affecting and um, in this year. Um, it's a general reading. I'm going to be doing the general reading. I'm going to do the Lamora reading um, with help figures. And then I'm going to do the love reading, general reading of love, general reading of money. And I'm going to do an animal and the healing reading. Okay. It's all um, the, 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 um, these are general readings, so they're free. But the other readings are going to be taking like 50 minutes, which is going to go in depth in your own energy vibration um, to find out what is happening. All right. For the Pisces people and the Capricorns and the Cancer is going to be a wonderful year. Pisces, Capricorns and Cancer, it's going to be a wonderful year. Okay. Um, these cards, have they're beautiful. They're aligned with a lot of energies and the light comes up on them. So I have to hold them out like this. Please don't get upset with me because I'm not going to be able. I might take the photos and show them, but I'm on camera, so you know there has to be choices. But I have to be on cameras to do these. I'm um, year reading, year of water. So it's going to be a lot to do with water, which I've just said. There's going to be floods. There's going to be um, less water on this planet. We have to start respecting the water and and that sort of a thing. So um, we got to be aware of what is happening, what is transpiring, because it's going to be affecting this planet. It's good, going to be affecting you as a person. Um, stop wasting water, people, because um, at some stage of the game, we're not going to be able to have water, okay? Um, floodings, a lot of floodings. Um, climate changes, just erotic climate changes. It's just going to be so unbelievable what is going to be coming up it's really 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 2019 it's like purification okay that's how i see this year 2019 i've seen so many things that is coming up that is unbelievable 
people need to find to find the way to balance spirituality in the material world there is going to be a lot of things that people have, are, um, need to start being self-employed um, because huge corporations are going to be going down and that sort of a thing okay shift of the game with huge corporation and that sort of a thing okay so um, we're going to call in the ascendance masses light beam pure light beams and all the universal beams they're already here they're always but me but we're calling in extra protective beam Archangel Michael um, the angels of healing love Archangel Samuel um, Archangel Raphael Archangel Joviel the unicorns and actually the king of queen of unicorns to stand with me Master Elmora, Lloyd Kutumir, and uh, um, Centilirian, and all the Ascendance Masters and the Galactic Beams who are here. Okay, so Pisces are going to be affected by this year, but also the Capricorns and the Cancers. It's going to be positive for those people, Pisces, Capricorn, and, and Cancers, okay, because they have been going through really, really um, bad time. All right, what else is happening? What else is transpiring? There's a whole lot of thing. I'm going to do another video, just channeling a channeling video for the year 2019. So look out for that. What we're going to do now is the readings, and we're going to try and get them in a timely form um, because I have to do all the rest of the readings. Okay, so um, 2000, this is just going to be a water year, it's going to be an emotional year, it's going to be a year of people trying to find themselves, and uh, there is just going to be so much shift on this planet. So get ready because things is about to change, okay? And I promise I'm not going to do my hair in this video and that sort of a thing, okay? So we know what the hangman energy is, is all about. The hangman energy is, is all about, um, yeah, you finding yourself basically, it's all about who you are, it's all about connecting, reconnecting with who you are. So it's going to be. Um, really a year of a lot of um, you know facing yourself you know finding the true inner wisdom circumspection um, um, the set spent trials sacrifice um, you know learning to, 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 to let your intuition guides you it's going to be a year of divinations but also um, prophecies that is going to be coming out and this hangman is really upright okay if you notice that it's really upright so it's bringing out the positive side of who you are and trying for you to really find who you are okay what is so good about this year is that we have some judgment call we have the eye princess and we have the wheel of fortune now um please pick up the quartal reading because that is going to help especially the general reading that is going to be helping you to understand what is about to come in okay so in the month of January we had the energy of judgment in the month of January okay um, we have judgment coming up in the month of January so a lot of secrets are going to be coming out international worldwide secrets are going to be coming out information is going to be coming out that was kept away from humanity is going to be coming out so um, expect that and um, you know hold tight for <laughs> you know you're gonna be um, really surprised what you all don't know all right um, in February the I princess this is a wonderful energy because um, whatever the secrets are they're coming up okay so it's it's, it's gonna be a year where secrets are coming out basically secrets things that was kept from humanity things that was kept from you um, these are all going to be coming out and coming um, on top of the the carpet or you know it's no no longer going to be idin. Um things are going to be coming out where you were blown away from so expect that between January and February now as we go to March we have um, a fire energy this is good because it's a wheel of fortune I'm loving this the wheel of fortune is coming in in March so it's a change of shift so some luck is going to be coming in and that sort of a thing we're going to be having some luck coming in in the month of March so this is going to be good so let's see what who is going to be picking up these luck and that's what we're going to be looking at soon alrighty so um, let's see um, what is coming out for hmm, April May and June so 
in April um, we have justice in April so this is good energy um, this is the number eight energy infinity so some of you could be winning lawsuit um, positive information is going to be coming out so this is going to be extremely extremely good this is going to be wonderful um, these are going to be positive situations that you're going to be aligned with so um, right away you can see um, that these things are going to be good as we look at May we have strength which is um, the energy of number 11 we have strength which is um, you find it in a strength to deal with the things that are happening because there's really going to be a shift on this planet people I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of worried for some of some people because some people are not yet aligned with the energy so I'm kind of worried for you guys because you guys are going to be feeling it no more you know the light workers will feel it but not as hard as how you guys are going to be feeling it and as we look at June what is happening in June is that we have temperance so um, June it, things are going to be calming down in June and this is going to be good um, it's going to be helping the um, a lot of people um, with this Carmen down it's going to be helping a lot of people a lot of people are finally going to um, come up back to speed and bring balance after um, the Christmas season and the first three months and that sort of a thing so as we look at the half year we're having the energy of uh, water two waters the year begins with the energies of two water and you know because the, 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 the hangman is the energy vibration of the hair which is water now we have the energy also of Pisces that is coming in and we have the energy twice Pisces so a lot of Pisces are going to be affected um, in the first three months of the year a lot of Pisces are going to be affected okay or Pisces people could be coming in to um, you know align with you um, to help you to move forward um, and and this is going to be positive because it, it with, with judgment but judgment judgment comes with Pluto and uh, um, so whenever judgment comes up in a month it's a change of position it's a renewal it's a outcomes it's secrets coming out it's a, another accountability for something lawsuits that sort of a thing is judgments okay now judgment is, is has the energy of Pluto so with Pluto you can find the Pisces and the scorpion working together with you to bring certain things to balance and helping you out in some ways okay so this is good this is a judgment for January and then we're looking at the eye princess because these two months are water months so we're looking at what um, we're going to be beginning the year with now with the energy of the eye princess the eye princess is linked with the moon and the moon is linked with the cancers but also the Pisces and the um, scorpion so this is something that is um, realistic this is secrets this is mystery the future as yet to unveil itself okay it's the feminine aspect because this year is a very feminine year it's the year of the woman and the year of connecting with yourself you know um, and this is going to be very very interested because the quarant of the masculine and feminine it's, it's about learning to balance your masculine and feminine in this year is the silence of the feminine side but yet still the mystery of wisdom that is going to be aligning you so this is this is just absolutely wonderful and absolutely beautiful how um, the year actually um, begins okay as we look at the um, the month of March which is the change in guard for the first um, quarter we have a fire sign coming up so after all that water 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 we have that fire sign coming up now the energy of the wheel of fortune is um, so very positive because um, what is going to be transpiring with the energy of the wheel of fortune is some luck is going to be coming in so you will find out the Sagittarians are coming in to help you or just luck destiny fortune success is going to be coming up in March and I guess that's why tax time is March April because um, you always receive it so it's going to be increase of abundancy um, in the month of March so it's going to be good so we're going to be looking to see um, 
um, who it's going to affect it's going to affect a lot of people because the wheel of fortune comes with the planet of Jupiter uh, and that is the planet of luck as we look at the next three months we have in the month of April we have justice this is uh, the number eight energies now there is going to just um, this is the liberal balance in the scale you know equality um, justice and uh, um, righteousness uh, promotes in the exclusiveness of being triumphant in a lawsuit or a conflict that has been going on so these sort of a things is going to be happening in the month of April in the month of May we have strength which is the number um, it comes up as the number eight energy just strength and this strength will you will find that the Leo's and the Sagittarius um, will come in to give you power strength um, in encouragement to help you to push you forward and to make you a success okay so this is going to be good so look out for this because this is just going to be very wonderful very positive it's going to be because now it's another fire so we had fire here and now fire again and this is good so the fire energies are very passionate the months with fire are very passionate and with the happiness that is going to be coming out now finally the first earth sign that comes out so um, in this three quarter we have hair fire and earth and this is good because what this is ha what is really happening and transpiring um, is basically um, that with the energy of temperance is that is, is things are now calming down okay and temperance comes up um, and in June which I said um, June bring the balance of uh, um, you know all the months before it really brings the balance of all the months before because it is just coming in and just bringing um, positive energies forward and this is going to be good okay so um, economical wise moderation and that sort of a thing management and accomplishment these are the sort of things that are going to be um, June is going to be bringing because here finally balance is going to be coming in your life after the first five months June is going to have this earth energy that is going to take you down and say okay now you can breathe okay it's gonna just take you down and said okay now you can breathe so you know this is basically basically um wonderful because in the, the second quarter you are going to be having um the energy of uh, um hair fire and hurt and these are good energies to bring um stability and make changes in your life so this is going to be good okay this is going to be um, just really really wonderful whatever is happening now what we have for July okay uh, July we have the energy of the Sun another funny fire energy which is coming in which is just going to be wonderful July begins the summer and it also brings uh, happy positive energies that is going to be um, coming in and some of you could be and the energy of the Sun really connects with everyone it, it is just uh, um, it, it affect like the wheel of fortune have an effect on everyone and the energy of the Sun has an effect on everyone now the Leo's are going to be very very um, the Leo's are the one who is going to be receiving a lot of support Leo's Pisces Capricorns and the cancers okay so they're going to be um, fortune is going to be coming from for them materialists um, you know anything that you need materialists if you want marriage a lot of marriage is going to be happening because a lot of people are going to be finding their soulmate a lot of people are going to be connecting with their soulmate and you know connecting on a positive positive side so this is going to be good it's going to be um, very positive so that is another positive alignment which is going to be coming in so the Sun is going to affect everyone but it depends on which major arcana um, you're working on with your own energy vibration then you will um, um, understand what is about to happen for you in the month of July but July is, is looking really really very good with the energy of the Sun okay so let's look what is going to be coming up August um, 
August has the energy of the fool okay so I see where the story is going because uh, um, after an erotic period that you that you know humanity is going to go through what you're going to be seeing is that in August Uranus comes in now Uranus Uranus as the energy vibration also of this year there or a transition that is going to be happening in the Uranus form and remember when I'm doing the um, the zodiac um, um, reading the full moon readings whenever Uranus come I'm like guys hold on because things are about to happen now the energy with Uranus um, because the full links with Uranus it's an air sign and it is about movement it's about moving forward but a lot have happened in um, the the the, um, the eight months before this coming in Uranus is now going to be really moving out things to, to connect you with December to end the year so clearance is going to be coming um in uh, um because you know and what they're saying is that this is uh, clearance is going to be this year this year is a year of clearing stuff that you no longer need and bringing forward uh, who you are and balancing out so self so Uranus this is the full energy you are leaving behind things that no longer serve you and you're moving forward in a very positive year so another hair sign that is coming up and this is July August so let's look at September September you have the energy of the star thank God um, because Uranus and move away something that no longer serve you and bringing in the energy of the star now Uranus has moved out things that no longer serve you and what it is saying to you now is that listen there has been some loss there has been theft there has been you you know losing ground with your financial stability and that sort of a thing but another thing it is saying is that I am bringing you a better future hope for prosperity in your life so um, some people see the star different but my guides and angels are also always saying whenever you look at the star what does you have faith hope faith and hope that things are going to be changing and this is the energy of the stars there's a lot of people who are saying theft and loss and that sort of a thing how can the star be theft and loss it is about hope it is about bringing bright new prosperity to you guys and this is what is going to be transforming you and going to bring you to a really really positive place so this is another hair sign so um you know the energies are all telling you what basically is going to be happening because I'm seeing um, the information that is coming out because it's a water year and if you have so much air with water you know that things are about to hit this year and I can't say no because that's how it's going to be things are really really going to hit this year this year is going to be a change for each and every person on this planet it's either you choose to balance and understand spirituality or you're going to be left just you know floating about let's see what's coming out August uh, July August September October what is coming out for October there we are I hope you guys can see it the energy of the tower in October so as you notice there's a lot of cleansing a lot of cleansing a lot of cleansing October is the energy of fire so we had um, Uranus um, with the, the fool. We had Uranus with the fool. And then what really happened and what really transpired, because we have Uranus with the fool, what really happened and what really transpired is that Uranus had bring something out to your life. And now the tower is coming to really remove this. So there is going to be, and, and, and you know, this is what they're saying express to you guys that there's going to be a lot of change of weather situation it's going to be affecting this planet because this planet energy vibration mother hurt and father hurt uh, mother hurt Gaia and father hurt tire is changing and you need to change and 
there is a lot of places that is going to be changing and there's so much changes that is coming up guys I'm so I'm supposed to start giving a prediction and I'm just really so afraid to tell you guys what exactly is going to be coming up and I need to do this so obviously um you can see it and you know in which months you can expect these things to come up but, um you know the third period is not so bad because you have the Sun because um, you have the Sun and the star because the Sun came out and then you you got a new a journey and the star let's see what is coming out November November we have the devil so another fire energy not a fire energy in November um, this is um, being bondage um, the tower came in um, in October but then you have this energy of being bonded going back to your ego so that you can get through and what they're teaching you is to learn to release this energy this is an egotic energy that you need to release and this is what they're teaching you basically release this energy okay this energy you no longer need and it is the center of the year so what they're saying is that a lot of people because of the changes that is happening the things that is going on people are going to be using their energy base um, ego the December the moon energy of the moon in December so you see that the last three um because that's where it's going to be happening also because a lot of disaster is going to be coming throughout the year but the, the, the December the end of 2019 is where all the disasters are and you're seeing that my guides and angels are showing you guys um, where these disasters are okay so as we go back the tower the devil and the moon oh my god the last three months of the year is where a lot of things is going to be happening okay so we have twice we have fire and then we have water ending the year so okay the energy whenever this energy comes up it's the energy of the Aries some people say it's the Capricorn it's not the Capricorn it is the energy of the Aries okay and what is happening is that uh, people because uh, there's a lot of stuff that is going to be happening humanity is basically going to change and people are going to be like uh, I, you know the last um, three years I'm seeing um, the animal instinct and people but this is just going to be getting worse in the month of um, November because there's going to be um, because there's going to be a sickness a new flu that is going to be coming out um, it's going to be affecting and um, you know I'm asking the guides and angels uh, it could be coming out um, in May because um, <coughs> okay yeah because airports are going to be closing down because they're saying it's going to be coming out in a bit, very busy period um, but there's going to be restriction of travel yeah um, it's gonna be a nasty epidemic that is coming out so um, there's gonna be a restriction of, 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 of um, traveling so there's gonna be a ban on traveling um, because of this flu because it's like um, it grows in like airplanes because you sit in an airplane with so many different people so many different people have so many different things and this is not a fright okay because I don't like giving these readings but yeah 2019 is not going to be one of those beautiful years it's going to be a changing of guard so so people are now uh, then they're going to start using this ego base energy because this is definitely this is the shadow side of you this is the ego base okay now month of December there's going to be disaster some that disaster is going to be coming up in October and December they said now in October it could be fire and in December it's going to be um, snow heavy snowstorm um, heavy snowstorm I uh, yeah there is just going to be dramatic change they're going to say where it was supposed to be snow it's 
a summer when it's supposed to be summer it's sewing so it's as if it's, it's, it, 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 there is a shift of um, the hurts um, um, uh, surface so um, it's as if there is a shift of the hurt surface so it's as if the, the, the temperatures start changing so let's say um, in New York it's supposed to be snowing then it could be snowing in Florida or it could be snowing in Georgia like heavy heavy small just out of the blues or the islands could start small that sort of a thing but this year is going to be affected by water okay water some places it's not going to be having water I really do have to take a picture of this for you guys because it's a beautiful um, layout so wow it's going to be a, a year with a lot of disasters um, the fires could be happening in July and uh, October they could be um, um, what, what what is showing is that there could be either in, an industrial fire or some huge fire that is going to be taking place okay industrial fire it could be like um, in different countries and that is going to be because of the shortages of water and the climate the the, the, the trends the transformation you know that is going to be what is going to be taking place so the outcomes um, and the, the the central of this year is that I this is disaster okay it's gonna be a year of disaster that has to do with so it has to do with a lot of emotion running wild people are trying um, to get you know using their egos to get things happen so um, this energy is here so expect that people are not uh, people are going to be changing okay expect this because people are really really going to be changing um, and the, a lot of people are going to be using their egos um, it's like a lot of hate is going to be coming up but a lot of disasters um, there's going to be a couple super moon um, and uh, when there is a super moon like this one and this that means the current of the ocean rises there's going to be things that is happening in the ocean um yeah and they're giving so above so below so you know like star um, star seed um, star beams um, star seed beams could be coming out from out the ocean so below a so so above a so below and um, uh, the more there's going to be more um, uh, evidence of star beams coming up okay so you're going to be seeing like strange lights in the sky and that sort of a thing um there's going to be evidence that there are different species on this planet there's going to be evidence that um they're coming in palladians um all these beams are coming in a lot of people are going to start to go to sewers in their sleep a lot of people are going to start seeing vision a lot of people are going to see through the dimensions from 2019 your world is about to change people wake up all right the Palladians are here um, they are going to be um, you're going to be seen and connecting with more Palladians more people are going to be channeling Palladians um and also um this the solar system where I'm from um we're going to be more present um
yeah we're more spiritual being nine frequency dimension being so we're also going to more of you know um, a lot of different um, beams are going to be coming in and there's star seeds okay it's no ET you know I, I don't know who give the name ET but um, extra direction no it's just um, they're star seeds um, they're universal beam star seeds because they're from all over the universe um commander Ashra um, is he here he wants to say to people that you have to open up um, and to learn what is love and understanding because we have to change the energy vibration of this planet um, and uh, um, everyone is welcome to connect with the intergalactic beams um, the intergalactic beams carry all different of the universal beam that is watching this planet at this moment um, there's um, commander Ashra there's Marco there's there's just so much there's the white brother word who um, protects our planet so all these beams are here um, and uh, um, each beam governing because um, 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 all of us is not from all of us are not from her we're from different solar system like people think I'm weird so I don't mind it because I'm not an earthling um, there's nothing wrong with a hurtling but I'm more of a high frequency energy beam okay so um, they want me to make you guys know that there is a lot that is going to be happening in this year but you had just have to keep positive um, positivity and loving yourself and loving others is going to be the most beautiful things okay and they just need you to um, focus and have conscious call upon your spirit guides your beams whoever your spirit beams or guides is um, your guiding angels because this year is going to be um, really really powerful um, there is a lot of disasters and uh, that is going to be taking place the moon there's going to be fire there's going to be water um you know um the volcano eruption this was it i was trying to remember the name but there was just so channeling volcano eruptions there's going to be volcano eruptions okay um this could be happening in october but it could be also happening in the summer but there's going to be volcano eruption um, get ready for that because it's going to affect I'm seeing one in Italy and uh, there's another one but there's going to be volcano eruption there's one in Italy okay um, and if this one in Italy goes off there's going to be disaster in Europe um, there's going to be the volcano but something else is going to be um, the, the, that thing that is going to be blown out um, no it's like an electrical fire or something like that okay um, so guys um, I wish it was more positive um, we'll see for each signs I myself I'm feeling and I know what is about to come so it's kind of hard um, because I'm trying really trying to be positive now um, so you know just just learn to understand that um, because of the shift of the planet the shift of her these things needs to happen okay all right I've gone 30 minutes I'm just gonna do a little healing so we all need um, to heal the planet so we're going to be calling up on the universal guides and angels and apparently I'm not supposed to do that so um, just call upon the universal guides and angels and ask them to help you guys through this time 
Um, money, and this is why I said to a lot of people, start learning um, to work for yourself, okay? The system is going to be changing. There is going to be effect with the system. The system is going to be changing, okay? So um, expect um, that to, to happen also, all right? We're going to be looking at love and see... Um, what's gonna come out all right there's a lot of finding inner strength in relationship that could be coming up in January where you have to find inner strength for relationships um, there is a lot of this that is transpiring so people you know thinking of whether or not they're going to be holding on to their relationships or they're going to be walking away from their relationships so um, people who are in relationships need to find inner strength in January. Now, as we go to February, it's going to be wonderful. I'm seeing um, this energy of the Nine of Pentacles um, in February that has to do with the Capricorns. It's going to be a good month for you guys in um, Capricorn, Taurus, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. It's going to be um, a good time. Um, some of you could be um, uh, connecting with um, your spirit guides. Um, I'm seeing the Taurus, the Leas, and uh, um, the Leas have to find inner strength with relationship. Leos and the Taurus have to find inner strength with relationship. But I'm seeing the ladies, the Earth sign ladies. They're looking well in um, in February. Now I'm seeing. Um, there could be some regrets in March whenever it comes up to relationship or people not um, connecting with who they want to connect. But it's going to be a year um, where love is coming in very, very strongly and very, very powerful. Okay. So um, that's going to be happening in March. Some of you are going to be, you know, undecided, um, you know, who you want to be with, what is happening in your relationship. Um, the seven of swords this energy is coming up in April so what is going to be happening is that some people is going to be deciding to walk away from their relationship um, some people are going to be start cheating on their partners but some people are going to decide to walk away from their relationship or some people are going to be um, the singles are going to be looking for relationships because they want to connect with someone um, but the energy in um, May, um, the Eye Princess. So the Eye Princess is really your intuition, secrets is going to be coming out for some of you in relationships in May. Some secrets, some deceptionness is going to be coming out. Some of you could be finding out that you know um, your relationship was not, um, you know, people weren't honest as they were supposed to be in your relationship. That sort of a thing. So um, be aware of that. A lot of that is going to be coming out in this year. As we look at June, we have the Ace of Swords. Some people are going to just, um, you, you know, just speak up and just cut through the bull and, you know, whatever it is, you're just going to say exactly what is his, okay? You're not going to no longer let anyone walk over you or that sort of a thing. You're just going to start speaking up in a relationship. Single people are going to be just, you know really open it up and connecting with people and you know just seeing how the shift is going to be taking them um, so it's all about ace of swords is you finding the inner strength to say you know what is this I want in a relationship where I want to go what do I see myself how you know and um, in June um the ten of pentacles is here and the energy of the ten of pentacles in june is going to be good because june is the earth sign some of you could be connecting with the taurus virgo or capricorn um some of you in business it's going to be good but some of you could be also i'm um, connecting with the right business partners and that sort of a thing and some of you could be meeting someone who has money who's going to um you're going to you know um most of you are going to end up um, connecting with this person and marry this person um, it is a card also of marriage okay because the ten of Pentacles is always financial security but this person doesn't only want financial security 
um, whoever you meet that is a, um, you know very wealthy and that sort of a thing it's it's as if they want um, the whole package okay and this is going to be good um all right so what do we have here um, we have judgment in reverse so this is good in the reverse form especially because the Sun is coming out so some secrets is here this is going to be happening in the month of July okay in the month of July a lot of people who are keeping secrets affair relationship and that sort of a thing it's gonna be coming out it's it's, it's gonna be coming out okay so in July a lot of secrets a lot of things are going to be coming out so be aware of this especially in relationship a lot of secrets whatever secrets that people are keeping with relationships secrets affairs secret love affairs and that sort of a thing it's going to be coming out in July August yes um, finally some of you are really over with um, a situation that you were dealing with okay a heartbreak you have now put it behind you in um, um, August and you're moving forward okay so it could be that in July secrets comes out about relationships and you decide okay I'm putting this behind and I'm moving forward and I'm going um, you know I'm, I'm really going to um, find the love of my life and um, you know I'm gonna forget what has transpired what has happened and I'm going to be finding the love of my life okay wow and um, as we look um, at um, September in love this is going to be wonderful some people could be getting married in September there is a connection of people gathering so there could be a lot of marriages that is unexpected happening in September's and not in the normal usual year um, months of June and July so September could be a marriage month and seeing connection um, people gathering together and this is good there's no not a lot of holidays in September but this could be a marriage or an engagement and that sort of thing people um, you know meeting each other's family for the first time that sort of a thing that is going to be happening it's all about love in in, um, in uh, um, September it's it's really all about love whatever is happening it's really really all about love okay so let's see what else is happening um, October in love this is going to be good a lot of people um you're planning you're planning especially with single people you decide you know this winter is not going to catch me without the right person at the right time so this is this is actually very good because what this is saying is just that you know I know what I want in a relationship so this is mostly for the singles it could be also for other people um, new relationships are going to be starting um, some people are going to be thinking oh my god I've waited all my life finally I find this person and this is the person who I want to be so that's gonna be good <laughs> That's gonna be good alrighty let's see what is coming up okay the transition endings um, of relationships so you know that is the energy with the devil um, for the month of um, November a lot of relationship could be ending in the month of November whatever is happening a lot of relationship could be ending in November or a transition of relationship it depends on who you are what is affecting your sign in November but a lot of endings of relationship could be um, happening a lot of endings of relationship could be happening whatever um, however that is a lot of ending of relationships could be happening there's a lot that is going December now finally a good positive 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 card where a lot of people are going to be victory and successful in their relationships happiness and joy um, finding the right people connecting with the right people and this is going to be good so 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 oh my god so all right um, we're going to be um, using the animal deck 
So, um, money is, um, yeah, there is going to be, and, and, and as I said, because this is a general reading, but what they're showing me basically is that money could be on the tight side this year and the flow because so much is changing, that sort of a thing. So, um, that could be like one of what is going to be happening with money because you know it depends on your sign and when we go fully but what they're showing me is that like money changes with money whatever is happening there is going to be um, some changes with money that is happening okay so be aware of that alrighty let's see um, we're using and call upon always call upon your animal spirit guides you know they're always here um, to help you guys so let's see um, what animal spirit guides in there asking me to take two the buffalo is going to be here just as good I love the energy of the buffalo um, it has the hurt energy the buffalo is an earth energy so the buffalo is here so it's going to be the protection in the first six months the energy of the buffalo so for the people who has um, who works with the animal um, the buffalo this is going to be good okay for the people who works with a buffalo so that's like the Taurus the hurt people and that sort of a thing um, your spirit guides are going to be helping you out you can call upon the buffalo um, it's, it's going to be helping you out in um, the first half of the year now in the second half of the year for the people who were born in the second half of the year the nightingale which is another um, a sign of um, positive message will be coming in some of you will be connecting um, with your soul um, your spirit guides and that sort of a thing so it could be the nightingale so some of you could be um, connecting with the nightingale energies and the nightingale energies because I, I just love I seriously seriously just um, really love this animal in sync book it just it just brings you um, and the nightingale is um, another her energy. Um, we have the hummingbird, the bee. Let's see what the nightingale is saying. We have the crow, and um, we have the dragonfly. Um, the energy of the nightingale is fearless. The voice, speak, communicate, and songs. Okay, so for the second half of the year, this is just going to be perfect for the people who sings. Who communicate and the voice uh, and it's going to be the energy of the year because a lot of things is going to be coming out a lot of people are going to be bringing out books information and that sort of a thing and when it's balance it's speaking fearless with kindness and a lot of young people are going to be doing that a lot of young people are going to be coming up and doing that but when they're out of balance it's like shy limped and impatient um, to balance to, to receive into balance listen to music a lot of people need to use music in this year especially the last half of the year from July until December use music whatever you're going through use music okay just use music with whatever you're going through okay I'm really building a mosaic here and I never plan anything that, that that's the thing I just go with my guides and angels wherever they send me and however I never planned anything I just think um, and the nightingale is the air energy okay um, the nightingale is the air energies and so a lot of communication is going to be taking place in the second half of the year now the Buffalo is an urge energy I know that I a fact um, trying to find him but it's the earth energy, the buffalo, uh huh, and uh, um, with the energy of the buffalo, but it's happening and what is transpiring. Um, it's, it's the earth energy, okay? The sign is um, the hurt sign. So, um, and this is why the earth sign comes up in the beginning of the year from January until June, and it is grounding yet heavenly, practical yet spiritual. Okay, so you're grounding yourself basically, and um, then you have trust in and pure present. Okay, so you 
just being yourself is basically it whenever you are out of balance it's like your reckless lack of gratitude okay and um, you need to pray and ask for inner um, guidance and protection and it's it's, it's, it's really good I, I basically I love this this is the back of it okay ladies and gentlemen um, yeah sorry to bring you the sad news but you gotta know what's happening I love you guys namaste until I speak to you in January